Hey everybody, my name's Adam. I have opinions that are inflammatory as hemorrhoids, so you better stock up on that preparation H. Okay, whew. This, um, okay, they're relaunching, DC is relaunching Vertigo. I talked about it. It bothers me what they're doing with it. Well, one of the artists working for Vertigo, Rob Sheridan, Fucking man, this guy's a fucking he's burning out. He's like turning into a very, very man. I don't know if this guy's fucking autistic. It's like a circus of autism just surrounding. His, um, how you say, his take on, you know, like, comics, gay, you know, like, and, um, the whole, you know, like, consumer revolt against these corporations for putting, you know, like, having books with identity politics, you know, like, I won't buy Batgirl because it's bad. Yeah, you know, like, I'll buy something like Batman, Wonder Woman, Braver Than Bold, because it's great. It's Batman, Wonder Woman, in a fucking really cool adventure story, which intertwines Irish mythology. And you, like, say if, you know, like, it's not like this Ralph Sheridan guy is like Kurt Busiak, a total, total fucking dick on social media, but he's somebody that I can buy his books and enjoy them. You know, like, now if, you know, like, Liam Sharp was fucking, you know, like, burging out on fucking Twitter, I'd still buy his book, but this guy has, mm, because I can separate the fucking, you know, like, artist from, you know, like, what they say on, you know, like, social media, because, or if, Jack Kirby was still around, and he's like flipping the fuck out, chewing out, you know, like, people and shit. I fucking sit there and take it, but this guy, he, this is the first, he's working on a book called High Level, which looks cool, I would check out, but man, this guy's a fucking asshole. You know, like, he just... Okay, he's attacking, you know, like, <clears throat> Trump supporters and, um, fuck it, you know, like, I think the comic skate community, which is one of the most diverse com communities there is because of diversity of thought, idea, and we don't let the identity of politics get in the fucking way. We accept people for who they are. They're like, yeah, I'm this, and then we drop it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so. And we just move on. But the whole thing about, you know, like, what's going on with this Vertigo Rapture and Spur guy, he's calling you, know, like, people that are associated with Comics Gate. <gasps> And Trump supporters, racist elves. My God. He looks like a... What if, you know, like, um... A habit raped the fucking... Portland Mafia. And they had a fucking... Bastardized, illegitimate love child that's put up for adoption. He looks like a fucking hipster hobbit. Okay, and, and it's fucking hilarious. He calls, he calls, you know, like, comics gay, you know, like, Trump supporters, all uh, racist white elf boys. And he looks like a fucking hipster, however. You know, like, what he's trying to, what is he trying to fucking take away from this? You know, like, well, what is his end game? What is his legacy? Well, what is he trying to fucking uh, 
a conflict. Like he's he you know, like he this is the first fucking book he's done. And he's the former art director of Nine Inch Nails. Or art director or some shit and Nine Inch Nails used to be really really good band you know like really great you know like, hell the, the last good thing they released was let me think fuck over 20 years ago I think it was like 1994 95 you know like the downward spiral that's the only one good thing that's the last good album Nine Inch Nails has released you know like they suck now you know, they're, they're that band that should just crawl off into obscurity and die. See? And it's a fucking... Like... He's just like fucking a smug, overpriced little fucking prick working at Vertigo. That's why basically... Boycott the line, too. You know, like I'm not gonna give anything a chance. Maybe you know, like the Brian Hill book that's coming out because he's really good on social media and he's very professional. So yeah, I'm gonna give the first issue a shot, and if it's really, if it's good, hell, it might be like a actual dedicated reader to that series. If they handle things, if it's written, you know, like, from a realistic perspective. That's the only one book I'd probably check out. See? And, you know, his career is basically based off of merit, too. And I think Vertigo is just quarantined from the mainstay DC universe, where, you know, like it's, where they won't let the SJW infection spread. Like, they just redesigned... Batgirl, hell, you know, like, there's this fucking progressive, progressive, you know, like, art, very progressive article on one of the best books I've read this week. Hawkman, yeah, this is the best book that I've read this week. It is great. Highly recommend it. You know, like, hell, get a copy for yourself, get a copy for your fucking kid. This is a good fucking story. It's fucking, you know, like, they turned him into a Ninja Jones. Best comic book I've read this week. And, you know, like, it's, it, it's a fucking, um... Book I can like stand up top the mountain and fucking praise basically. Hell, I'm hooked. I'm gonna become a dedicated reader now. Shit. See? See? And you know, like hell, you know, like they got a new writer on fucking Batgirl, Sean Gordon Murphy, redesigned the costume too. And I like it. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Better than the costumes he has, that and I'm like, yeah, okay. I might have to um check out the new Batgirl. You know, like that's gonna be retooled. You know, like I'll wait for a review of it, and after if it's a positive review, I'll pick it up. See, you know, like Marvel, they drive people away. DC is like, hey, we're doing this. Hey, you're tired of the politics. Come on here, bro. Yeah, phew. And the thing is, you know, like, I think, you know, like, Rob Sheridan will, like, end up in obscurity and hiding. You know, like, like and he'll be, like, scrutinized by the fucking public so much. And I think, you know, like, his, you know, like, super liberal peers might just have to come in after him on the... You know, like, with the infighting. 
and shit. Could you see him and Zoe Quinn starting dating and she fucking sluts it up and then you're like, those two are in fighting. And you're like, Vertigo just... Except, you know, like Brian Hill, he's like, nah, you guys can fuck around, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's just like this... And the artists to the book are like, no, we're, we're going this way. <laughs> they all fucking have this sick, twisted fucking orgy of fucking degeneracy. And Vertigo just, like, implodes. And then they're like, yeah, we fucked up. These people aren't... You can go work for Marvel. And they push them off. <laughs> push them off to fucking Marvel. See, that's a brief... That's my prediction for Vertigo. And then I think they relaunch it the right way. This is my idea for Vertigo. Okay. We start off with a six issue arc, the retelling of how. Oh, it's one thing Zanari established character. Like, say, if we want, you know, like later in the series, we'll do this kind of like. Let me see, ah. Uh, later on in the series, it would be kind of like an 80s trope. Um, you know, like, it would be like retouching upon, you know, like, it would be like two issues retouching upon the origins of Swamp Thing, basically. That's the thing. That'd be later on. But the first arc would be like Swamp Thing's an already established character. And it's a retelling of when him and um, John Constantine Hellblazer first met, basically. And then, after that arc, John Constantine Hellblazer is relaunched. And you're like, you know who I put on? Uh, fucking either one of those Running Swamp thing? I think it would be a good fit. Grant Morrison. He'd probably fucking nail both of them. And I would have, like, a really good, great artist for that art, too. Like, I would probably, um, get, um, Jason Fabrock or Lee Bramiro, uh, Brian Hitch, or see if, or contact Ethan Van Triver and see if he would do the fucking six issue arc. See, that's what I would do. Then, after that, it would be like, basically, um, it'd be like Garth Ennis brought in, and it would be like a totally new Hellblazer story, with a really good artist, like a Tim, you know, like say you get Tim Bradstreet or, you know, hell, fucking Glenn Fabry. Like, have Garth Ennis and, you know, like, have some, a co-writer that's brand new to the whole thing, like Alan Grant. That'd be a fucking dark, witty fucking satire right there. And... You know, like, and then it would stem out when you get, you know, like, into, you know, like, other characters. Those two characters would be, like, the core two characters of the fucking line. You know, like, the fan favorites. You know, like, the one, you know, like, the you know, like, comic book fans. And, you know, like, in the whole fucking circle of comic books would know and, you know, like, pick up in massive droves, probably. Fuck Alan Moore. He, no, no, no. We're, we'll keep him away from Swamp Thing. You're like, too bad. Len we, Len Wine passed away um, last year. You know, like, shit. You know, like, I, I would try to get, if he was around, I'd get him to do it. In a context of being a Vertigo book. For Swamp Thing, you know, like, it's sad. And. Wow. See? <laughs> you 
God, phew. Wow, that was a fucking rant. It started out ta me talking about a fucking hipster habit and me biting up for after Vertigo fails on and how it will too. Because we they fucking hired the chick that fucking started fucking Gamergate. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, because she slutted it up with five different guys. Five. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. For positive re reviews from gaming websites. God, she sounds like a fucking working girl. She was a prostitute, she probably would be making more than Michelle Perez in her fucking, in his line of work. Damn. Well, until next time, I will see you around. Be good to each other. Take care. Be careful out there. Until next time, I'm signing off.